Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be making a simple three question trivia game. The questions are going to have scene timers and we're going to be tracking points throughout the game. If they get all the questions correct, we're going to award an item. Feel free to pause the video as needed while you're building this experience. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on create experience. So I'm actually not going to present any of my scenes in AR mode. I want to make sure that all of my scenes are set to background mode, so I'm going to click on background in the right-hand menu. Let's go ahead and select a background. I'll go into gradients and maybe select this purple gradient. Now let's add a character. Maybe I'll search for something like panda. See what pops up. Let's use this post cartoon panda. We'll type something like answer all three questions correctly to win a prize. Okay, now let's add a button that says start and let's style the button really quick. Maybe we'll make it a bright pink to sort of match the pink in the background here. There we go. Oop. And let's change it to a box here. All right. So we're going to be tracking some points throughout this experience, and in order to do that, we need to use some property blocks. I'm going to use experience properties because they're temporary properties, and we're going to click on add new here, go into experience properties, and then we're going to use this set experience property block. And I'm just going to move that underneath the scene here. We want to make sure that we set a key name for it, so I'm going to call this points. You should call it something more specific to your experience. For the tutorial, points will work just fine. And then we're going to set the value to zero. Now let's link the button up to this block. And then I want to talk about one more thing in this block. We're actually going to have to go into advanced and edit the code of the block because the block is setting a string value and we want to set a number value. So we'll type in number here and then we'll want to make sure that the zero is not in quotes so I'll just type in zero there. Great, now let's save this block and we're ready to start with our questions. So for each question what I'm gonna do is have a character scene and then we're gonna add a point every time they get the question correct. Let's go ahead and explore that by adding a new character scene. Let's style this one again so we want to make sure that it's in background mode. We'll click on background and then we'll change the background. Maybe I'll go into abstract this time and use a paint background. No need for the same character here. Actually, I won't use a character at all in this scene. That's perfectly fine. And let's go ahead and ask our question, which is not a primary color. All right, let's go ahead and add four options for buttons and let's style these buttons really quick. I'm going to make them square and I'll make them this sort of like reddish pinkish color, maybe darken it a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Now let's add our responses. Red, blue, green, and yellow. Okay, before we forget, let's go ahead and Add the transition to the property block. We'll transition to this first question here and we are all set up. Now what we're going to do is add a point to this property value that's set to zero every time they get the question correct. So to do that we're going to go into the add menu and add an experience property block and we're going to use this increment experience property by value block. Let's drag that underneath the scene here. We're going to increment the value by one and we need to make sure that we're using the same key name. I'm using points so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into this block and then let's link our correct answer here. So we know that green is not a primary color so we're going to link that to this block here. Now what I'm going to do is add a character scene for the answer below. So let's go ahead and drag this below here. There we go, let me zoom out so you can see what's going on. And then we will link this property block to the next scene. What we're gonna do here also is just skip over this increment property and just go to the answer scene if they get the question incorrect. So 
we will transition red to the answer scene, we will transition blue to the answer scene, and we will transition yellow to the answer scene, making sure to skip over this increment property block. Now let's go ahead and style the answer scene. I will select a background by changing it to background and we'll go into abstract and maybe we'll use this uh, pink uh, abstract paint here. We will say the correct answer is green. There we go. Green and then let's add a button that says next and we will style the button really quick. I'll make it a circle. Maybe we'll make this a dark purplish color here. There we go, we'll make that a little darker. Perfect, and let's move on to the next question. So the next question is going to be a free response question. I'm going to add a text input scene. Let's style the scene really quick. We'll go into background. We'll change the background, maybe we'll go into gradients one more time, or maybe we'll see if we can find a space tag here. Maybe there's a space tag. Yep, there it is, and see if we can find an earth. There we go, that's earth. And we'll ask the question, what is the top layer of the earth? So the answer is crust. We're going to need to validate that text, so let's go in and add a check text response block in the text section. I'll add that to my storyboard. We'll put it underneath the scene here, and then we will link the keyboard to this block. So when we click on the block, we want to make sure that we check for the word crust. There we go. Now if they get the answer correct, we want to use this same increment property block. So let's go into add new, into experience properties, and we'll use this increment experience property by value block. And I'll just put that next to the check text response block. So if they get the question correct, we're that's on response contains, we're going to link to this increment experience property by value block. And in the block itself, we're incrementing the value by one. We want to use that same key name, so we're going to copy it from the previous block and paste it into this block. Okay, so now we need an answer scene, so let's add another character scene. I will just drag this underneath here. Perfect. We need to make sure that it is set to background mode, and then we will change the background. So let's go into nature, see if we can find a good nature photo. And this looks pretty good, so we'll use that. The correct answer is, in quotes, crust. There we go. Now let's link the increment property by value block to the scene, and we also need the on response does not contain, aka incorrect answer, to bypass this block and go directly to the scene. Before I forget, let's make sure that this next button is linked to the next question. So we'll link that back up here to the next question. And now we're ready to work on our third question. So let's add another character scene. And for this one, we need to make sure that it's in background. We'll select a background. I will go into gradients. And maybe we will use this uh, bright green gradient here. So let's go ahead and add our third question which is the largest ocean in the world. And we'll add four options here. So let's style these buttons. Maybe we'll make them a uh, deep purple again. That purple's looking pretty good. And we will add our options. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Indian. All right, now let's add a button to our previous scene because it looks like I forgot to add a button there. Uh, it'll say next. We'll make that a circle and that blue is looking pretty good. Let's just make it a little deeper blue. And in our transition controls for the button, we will link to the question. Now let's do the same thing we did with our first question. We will go into add new. We will go into experience properties, add that increment property block set it underneath the scene. We want to make sure we're using the same key name, so we will copy the key name from the previous block 
and paste it into this block. And we want to make sure that we're linking the correct response to this block. That is the Pacific Ocean that is going to go to the block. Let's go to our answer scene. We will add a character scene. I'll put it directly underneath this. And let's make sure that it's set to background and we select a background. And I think I saw an ocean tag here, maybe. Yes, we did. So let's go ahead and use this polar bear. Looked really nice. And we will say the correct answer is Pacific. Perfect. Now let's link this increment property block to the answer scene. And we will link the incorrect answers to the answer scene, skipping over this increment property block. Finally, let's add another next button. We will make that a circle and we will make that maybe a bright pink color. There we go, that bright pink looks nice. So now we've set up the main question section of our experience. Now what it's time to do is check to make sure that the person got 100% on this trivia game. And in order to do that, we're gonna use a check property block. So let's go into add new. We'll go back into experience properties. And here is check experience property. Now you may be wondering, how do we know the value to check for? How do we know what number we want here? Well, we set the property at the beginning to zero. We increment the property by one for each question, and we have three questions. So we actually wanna check for the number three because that would mean that they got one point for each question correct. Now we want to make sure that we use the same key value. We're gonna copy points over into the check property block, and we're going to link the next button to that property block. So just like check text response, this also has a success and a failure path. And so if they have a successful 100% on their trivia game, we're gonna award them with a prize. That's gonna consist of two scenes. One is gonna be a character scene that says, congratulations, you got 100%. And then the other one is going to be a give item scene. So here we have it. We will link the success path to this upper success path that says, congrats, you got all of the questions correct. Here is a prize. We'll have a button that says next. And let's style the scene really quick. We want to make sure that it's in background mode. We want to change the background. Maybe I'll go into abstract again, see if I can find something interesting here, like these bubbles. That looks pretty cool. And let's style the button. So we want to make this a square button, and we'll make the button uh, bright pink. All right. So this next button is going to link to the give item scene and in the give item scene, you can upload anything to give as a prize. I already have a trophy that I like to give out for these sorts of games and we're all set for this section. The last thing we need in terms of scenes is just a final scene to end the experience. So let's go ahead and add that. It's going to be a character scene and the give item scene is going to link to it and then the failure path for the check property block is also going to link to it. So we're just going to bypass this congratulations section. So it'll say, thanks for playing. All right, and maybe we'll add another panda character in here. Maybe we can find something cool. Here we go, super cute panda with pom-poms, and let's change the background. So we want to set it to background. We will go into abstract again, and we will use maybe this retro background here. That looks pretty cool. Now let's add a button to end the experience and set the transition to end experience and style the button. Here we go, end experience. Maybe we'll make it orange. That looks pretty good. All right, and now we have the basic build complete. 
Now what I actually want to do is add a timer to each of these questions. And so we're going to click on the scene and then we have this timer section in the right hand menu. So for timers we want to turn this switch on and then we can set the number of seconds that the timer will appear for. I'm going to set the questions to seven seconds and the default transition is for when the timer runs out. So we're going to count that as an incorrect question. So let's click on the pointer and transition it directly to the answer scene. You can also force the user to wait all seven seconds, but we don't actually want to do that in this situation. So let's do that for the other two scenes. For the text input scene, sometimes it takes a little longer to type your answer, so I'm going to turn on the timer and then I'm going to give them 15 seconds. If they don't get the answer correct, we're just going to go directly to the answer scene. And then for the last question, let's do the same thing. Timer, turn it on, set it to seven seconds and then transition to the answer scene. There is one more thing I want to do in this experience and that is display the overall score. So I didn't do this at the beginning because we can actually use copy and paste, but let me zoom in so you can see down here what we're going to be doing is saying something like your score is, and then we want to show the property value here. How we're gonna do that is by using some special syntax. We're gonna go dollar sign, curly brackets, and then inside we're gonna use experience dot, and then the name of our property value. So I'm gonna actually copy this, and then I will just paste it right there. And then we want to make sure that we have it over the total here, so we'll say of three correct. So this is saying the correct answer is blank. Your score is score of three correct. This same text here, we'll copy that and then we'll put it at the end of all three questions. There we go. Now we are all done. Let me zoom out so you can see the entire experience. All right. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got an intro character scene. We reset the property value back to zero every time we open the experience. We have three questions that are stacked vertically and each correct answer adds one point. We check here to make sure that we have three points, AKA 100%. If they have 100%, then they get a trophy. And if they don't, it says, thanks for playing. And that's the end of the experience. Let's go ahead and publish it. We'll say my simple trivia game. We'll publish the experience and now we're all set. Feel free to scan this experience from your computer screen or make a copy of this experience. I hope you learned something about the different patterns that we can use and how we can use experience properties in our experience to track a score. Thank you for joining me in this exercise and we will see you next time.